Hey, hey everybody, what's up? Tim here with this week's Magnetic Moment. Hope wherever you are, you are doing phenomenal and crushing it and having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Title for today's shoot is How to Have an Epic Life. And this comes to us based off of the quote from Abraham Lincoln earlier in the week that said, it's not so much the number of years we have in life that make a great life, it's the life that we have in our years. So how do you make a great life? How do you make an epic life? How do you make something that's so intoxicating to you that you just fall on your knees every day in gratitude? How do you live a life that is so attractive and so magnetic to other people that they want what you have? They want to be who you are. Well, there's three simple steps that I try to follow. And I think if you put them into place, they will work wonders for you. Even if you only put one of these into place, it will make a significant difference. And those three things are transformational. The first one is stop worrying. Give yourself permission to stop worrying. Think about all the time and energy that we put into worry. And what does it do? Where does it get us? It gets us nowhere. Worry is a manifestation of fear. Worry is putting faith in a negative outcome. And it takes just as much faith or just as much energy to worry as it does to believe. And so many times we look at challenges and obstacles or we look at dreams and opportunities and we worry about what could go wrong or what could happen. And you know what? 90 times out of 100, the things that we worry about never ever come to pass. What were you worried about a day ago, a year ago, 10 years ago? Probably you can't even remember them. So why invest all that spiritual, emotional, mental, psychological energy in something that just isn't going to go where you want it to go? And you're dwelling on what could go wrong as opposed to what goes, what could possibly go right. Turn that energy, direct it in a faith and belief perspective and invest in the possibilities. Invest in the possibility of opportunity, not the possibility of destruction. So stop worrying. Give yourself permission to not worry. Believe in you and believe it's going to work out better than you expected. Number two, is let things go. Stop being affected and moved by every little situation. Stop letting your emotions control you. Stop becoming angry on the drop of a dime. Stop being offended. Stop taking things personally. Stop participating in the emotions that you don't want to feel and in taking those and absorbing them and letting them dominate you. Your emotions were made for you to control, not to control you. And you just have to learn to let things go. And some of the most powerful people are the ones who are like mountains or like the ocean. They're unmoved by situations and circumstances and people because they're centered, they're congruent. They know who they are, what they're about, and what, they're, what they want. And because of that, they're not moved by these trivial things that come up. So we gotta learn to let things go. And the final thing, and one of the most powerful, is learn to laugh. Learn to laugh and laugh a lot. Laughter is some of the best medicine in the world. You know that, I know that. It works from the inside out. It produces joy and gladness and happiness and lightheartedness. And it can drive sickness from us. It can drive difficulties and gray skies and depression. And it just is an awesome, powerful force. So learn to laugh. So I believe by putting those three things into practice, stop worrying, let things go, and learn to laugh, you can live an epic life. And just by putting one into place will be powerful, but imagine what could happen if you put all three into place. You will truly have an epic life that other people look at and are amazed and are drawn to you, and you will live fulfilled and satisfied all your days. So this is Tim with today's Magnetic Moment. Continue to have an awesome day. Put those three into practice. Thanks for watching again. I'll talk to you soon.